Find the HCF and the LCM of 990 and 2100. What we mean by HCF is highest common factor, and what we mean by LCM is lowest common multiple. And we'll have a look later to see the actual meaning of these. Now, before you can do this, particularly for large numbers, you need to split these two numbers into a product of their prime factors. I'm going to use division, but you can use the idea of factor trees. Every number can be split into the product of its prime factors. So let's take 990. And what you do, you need to look at the first prime number that goes into 990. Well, as the number is even, then 2 will go into it. So 2 goes into 9, 4, remainder 1. 2's into 19 is 9, remainder 1. 2's into 10 is 5. Right, so 2 no longer goes in. But if you do 4 plus uh, 9 plus 5, okay, that gives you 18, which is a multiple of 3, therefore the number 3 will go in. So 3 is into 4, goes once, remainder 1. 3 is into 19 is 6, remainder 1. And 3 is into 15 is 5. Right, so we've still got 1 plus 6, that's 12, that's still a multiple of 3, so 3 will go in. 3 is into 16 goes 5, remainder 1, and 3's into 15 goes 5. Right, 3 no longer goes in, but 5 goes into 55, and then 5's into 55 goes in, 5's into 5 goes once, 5's into 5 goes once, and then we've got 11, 11 is a prime number, 11 goes into 11 one time, so we stop when we get to 1. Now, if you did this in a different order, it wouldn't really matter, but obviously it's easier to divide by smaller numbers first. Then what you need to do is list the prime factors of 990. So you write that as 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. So I left a, a bit of a space for any 7s um, I might get with the other number. And maybe I'm going to get another 2 with the other number. Now, We're going to do now the same for 2,100. The first prime number that goes into that is 2. 2's into 2 goes once. 2's into 10, 1 don't go. Remainder 1. 2's into 10 go 5. And then we've got the 0 at the end. Again, we can divide by 2. 2's into 10 goes 5. 2's into 5 goes 2. Remainder 1. 2's into 10 goes 5. And then we're going to divide by 3. You can notice these add up to 12. Therefore, it's divisible by 3. So knowing some of the rules of divisibility is quite useful. 3's uh, into 5 goes 1, remainder 2. 3's into 22 goes 7 times, remainder 1. 3's into 15 goes 5. And then if we add uh, 1 plus 7, that's 8. Plus uh, 5, that is not 13, so that's not divisible by 3. So we'll divide by 5. 5's into 1 don't go, 5's into 17 go 3, remainder 2, 5's into 25 go 5, and then 5's into 35 go uh, 7 times, next prime number is 7, 7 into 7 gives me 1. Now we list uh, 2100 2, as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. I should have um, explained this as well. This is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. So leaving spaces is quite useful as well. Now uh, sometimes people write these as 3 squared but in doing finding the LCM and HCF it's probably just better to write them all out like that. Right to find the HCF the highest common factor what does it mean? Well, this is the highest number that divides exactly into both numbers, which is 990, 2100. So we're finding the highest number which divides into both these two numbers. And you get that by pairing up uh, prime factors. So we can see we've got a 2 and a 2, so we'll put a ring around that. We've got a 3 and a 3, and a 5 and a 5. Okay, so that there's nothing else left in common. We've only got one, two left here. We've got no three to pair that up with no five or seven to pair that up, no 11 to pair that up. 
So the highest common factor is a product of those three numbers. So it's 2 times 3 times 5, and that gives you 30. So 30 is the highest number we will divide exactly both into 990 and 2100. That's what we're saying. Right, to the LCM. What do we mean by the LCM? It's called the lowest common multiple, LCM. This is the highest number that both 990 and 2100 divide into exactly. So it's quite like what you do with um, fractions, finding the lowest common multiple for the denominator. Again, it can be done with a prime factor. So we just list them again in the same way. And again, what you do is you pair up uh, prime factors which are common. So you're going to get 2, 3, and 5. So that gives you 2 times 3 times 5. Then what you do now is you add in a times 3 times 11. So times 3 times 11. And then also a times 2, a times 5, and a times 7. Okay, so when you, you what you do now is you work that out using your calculator. You should get uh, 69,300. Uh, what we're saying is that the highest... Uh, so I'm going to correct myself. That should be the lowest number, which both 990 and 2,500 divide into. So the lowest number that uh, 990 and 2,100 divide into is 69,300. Okay, that's the problem done. Now, sometimes people like to use a Venn diagram to do the working. So what you do is you draw a Venn diagram with two intersecting sets. We call this one for 990 and this one 2100. In here you put the things which are common for, to both, listing only once only. So that's 2, 3 and 5. 2, 3 and 5. Here you're going to put 3 and 11. And here you're going to put 2, 5 and, and 7. 2, 5 and 7. And therefore, for the HCF, it's the product, product means multiply, of the numbers in the intersection. So the product of those three numbers. And for the LCM, it's the product of the numbers in the union, i.e. everything in the diagram. So 3 times 11, 2 times 3 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 7. We call that the union of two sets. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.